What's the weather going to be like? Craig Herrera joining us now. Hey, Craig. Hey there, Mark. Hey, Joyce. Boy, gorgeous when you're walking around looking at everything, just kind of blooming and colorful. I love it. Kind of helps to lift the spirits while you're walking out there. You know what? Tomorrow, things are going to change, though. We're Instead of saying April showers are going right into May rain, tomorrow's going to be rainy and windy with a few isolated thunderstorms right through the weekend. Uh, today, not bad. 66 is where we finish the day at SeaTac. Average for this time of year is 62. Tomorrow, we will struggle to reach the upper 50s and a few low 60s, but uh, we're going to have some wind to contend with as well. By the way, the pollen count in the low category for tree pollen, cedar juniper, oak, birch, willow and ash. No grass in the mix there. That's from our friends at the Northwest Asthma and Allergy Center. We still have some mid-60s. Nice. Hey, you know what? If you've got something to do, I would do it now if you can in the next couple of hours because there's rain starting to move in. You can see scattered showers up and down the coast and the Olympic Peninsula. Hasn't quite reached the sound yet, but as we go through, say, after the sunset, just after 8, 8.30, we'll see some of those scattered showers move over a good part of western Washington. Then tomorrow, the rain will start to pick up. Uh, this will, we're going to see that rain pick up, especially by about 12 o'clock. The backside of the front moves through at 3 o'clock. Heavy, heavy rain. By 4 o'clock, it starts to lift off into the Cascades, and we have the chance for a few isolated thunderstorms. The wind will come in with this front. Front. By 7.30, we'll call it scattered showers. And then into Sunday, more scattered showers and a few more isolated thunderstorms. Now, 12 o'clock, here are the estimated wind gusts from the UW high resolution model. Starting to pick up the breezes. Look, 2 o'clock. Wow, some gusts up to 30 miles per hour. We'll keep those gusty winds going through about 4 o'clock, even through about 6. It's not till about 8 that the wind becomes more of a breeze out of the south southwest and then we start to lose some of the wind uh, overnight now tonight yeah we've got some more clouds coming in we will drop to about 50 degrees for an overnight low not all that bad your highs tomorrow we're coming back up into the upper 50s and low 60s thanks to all the cloud cover it might feel a little bit muggy at times when the system starts to come in because it's coming in from the south southwest and then it'll feel a little cool behind it with the wind now, for the mountains tomorrow, we'll have rain, snow, isolated thunderstorms, probably no snow accumulations, but the rain, half an inch to an inch and a half, especially where the thunderstorms erupt, about an inch and a half there. We'll have the snow levels at 6,000 feet and pretty windy during the afternoon. How about the rest of the week ahead? All right, so tomorrow we'll call it rainy, isolated thunderstorms, breezy to windy conditions. We'll go for 60 for a high. Sunday, not quite as rainy, but a few more showers and thunderstorms in the mix with the sunshine. We'll do that uh, Monday with more scattered showers. Tuesday, we get a break. Wednesday, one more round of rain. And then this time next week, we'll be talking about upper 60s and low to mid 70s by this time next week. But in the meantime, Joyce, Mark, tomorrow, Boy, we haven't had a storm like this in quite some time. So if you've got something outdoors you need to tie down, now's the time to do it as well because tomorrow that wind's really going to pick up with the rain. We've been warned. Craig, thank you.